Welcome to the ET335 Binary Adders Lecture video. In binary adders we only have two numbers, 0 and 1. So once it exceeds 1 we have to carry the digit just like we do in decimal addition. So when we go from 0, 1 to 2, 2 becomes 1, 0, base 2. Here I'm showing a binary half adder. This is the symbol for a binary half adder. And we have two inputs. And we have a summing output and a carry output. And here is our truth table. So anytime we add them up, we get 1 or 0 or 1. And when we add 1, 1, we're going to get 0, carry the 1. So we're going to get a sum of 0 carry of 1. Here I'm showing a binary full adder. And the difference between a half adder and a full adder is the full adder has a carry input. So it is going to have three inputs, P, Q, and carry input, and two outputs the same as a half adder, sum and carry output. Okay, so when we add these up, the only difference is, is when we get beyond our 3, we need to have a sum of 1 and a carry 1. So up to that time we have a 2, but any time that we have that carry input and P and Q are 1, we're going to get a sum of 1, carry output of 1. Here I'm showing a binary adding circuit, which I call an adding machine, where we could demonstrate binary addition. So the first thing we're going to have is our least significant digit, or LSD. And we're going to have 1 plus 0, which would be 1, carry the 0. And if I convert that to binary, 0, 1, which is going to be... One. So we can look at these two digits as binary digits, and it kind of helps along with that. So here we're going to have P and Q. We have 1 plus 1 plus 0 is going to equal binary 1, 0. So we're going to have sum of 1, excuse me, sum of 0, carry 1, and we're going to have 1, 0, base 2, which is 2. Here we're going to have our carry input, so we're going to have 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is going to be 1, carry 1. 1, 1, base 2 is 3 decimal. Okay, then we're going to take our carry in. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is going to be 0 sum, carry 1, 1, 0, base 2 is 2. Here we're going to have 0 plus 0 plus 1, which is 1. So here's our final answer. Here's my CAD answer, and it looks like we did well. Okay, so let's do another addition problem. So we've got 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. 1, carry the 0. Again, 0, 1, base 2 is 1. Then we have 0 plus 1 plus 1 would equal 0, carry the 1, base 2. I have 1 plus 0 plus 1, which again is going to be 0 sum, carry 1, 1, 0, 2. And here I have 1, 1, 1, which will be sum 1, carry 1, which is 1, 1, base 2, and 3. And here I have 0, 0, plus 1, a sum of 1. And here's our CAD answer, and it looks like it uh, matches our...